going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back at RBN. Uh, this is Mike's home track right in Rancho Bernardo. Great course and uh, he's going to tell you the format today. So we're going to do a lefties versus righties again. Um, these guys won the last match so we won the first match. Uh, winner take all on this one. Two minutes of plank and uh, best of luck to you. Yeah you too. We're only doing nine holes so it's going to be uh, this is going to be a one video series and we're going to introduce you to the guys we're playing with right now. Here's Spencer our other fellow lefty. What's up, Spence? Left-handed. I'm good. I'm ready to beat him down today. So. Just like last time, right? Yeah, I'm on a separate wavelength since <laughs> last time. So, new mindset. Mm, confidence is running hot. What's up, Kyle? Hi. How are uh, we doing? Pretty good. I'm right-handed. And uh, I think me and Coach are going to win. I like lot. it. Staying humble. Oh, okay. Ooh. That's confident. That is confident. Coach, any final words before you do two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now you know player. what? Uh, I think everyone's gonna play well today, and uh, best of luck to you guys. Okay, let's have some fun. All right, all right, guys. Hole number one here, 347 yards. There's, there's a little ravine that runs right through the middle of the fairway, and we got about 20 miles an hour of wind, uh, pretty much in our face right now. It's so short hole, so you just want to get into good position, left center of the fairway. If you go anywhere towards the right, all those trees start to come into play. So, good position, and uh, it's definitely a, a birdieable hole. Alright guys, missed the first drive over a little bit to the left. Got some trees right in front of me, so I got a pitching wedge, 115 yards into the wind. I'm going to just try to go over the trees and uh, hopefully get it on the green. Alright, <laughs> that tree is pretty high. I don't think I could get over it, but the cat hits it pretty high. And he got up and over. I want to say it's in the bunker. Alright Kyle, good drive down the right side of the fairway. What do you got into the flag? 110, and I'm gonna hit a knockdown pitching wedge, just get up there close. Okay, a little uphill, a little into the wind? Yeah. Okay. Wow, that looks good. Knocked it down to perfection. Should be probably like 15 feet. Good shot. All right, Spencer, what do you got? I got 107 to the back pin, so I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. I usually hit around 120. Like he pulled it just a little bit, but just looking. Too much. Yeah, that might have been too much actually. All right. Coach uh, pumped his drive up here. He's right under this tree that uh, usually gets in the way for people, but he's under it and uh, he's got a pretty good angle at this flag. All right, got 80 yards. Just gonna hit a 60 degree, kind of knock it down um, and miss a little bit left because those tree limbs on the right are still kind of hanging over. Started right and it's staying right. And I think it's gonna be short of the green too. Just kind of got under it. All right, guys, we got Mike on the front of the green right there. He's gonna have a long putt, probably about a 50, 60 footer up this hill. Kyle's over there, uh, probably gonna have about a 30 footer up the hill. And then Spencer hit a great shot. He was pin high, just on the fringe right there. Probably no more than uh, 20 feet, uh, very makeable. I ended up in the bunker right there. That's pretty much all I could do from behind that tree. So, gonna be a fun little up and down. How do you feel, Spence? Thank you. Uh, I'm playing the 2018 Callaways, so they're money. Try them out. All right, we're on hole two. It's 205 yards. Looks like the pin is up front. Probably playing about 190. Uh, a little bit downhill, downwind. Uh, the bunker off to the right is definitely uh, not a good one. And that uh, ravine right in front is free relief. Uh, there is no water running through right now. I'm gonna hit a seven iron, because I usually hit it around 180, 185. So it's playing a little downhill. It's a big seven irons, Spencer. Oh yeah, well, Apex from Callaway. <laughs> I 
drawn towards the bunker. Um, good bounce, rolling out of the green towards the hole. Just like I played it. Nice shot. Push it out to the right. Doesn't look like it's coming back. And if it's long enough, it's gonna be... Oh, actually it's just short of the bunker. Started left of the pin, but it's drawn back. And then it's just kind of hanging there. All right, blow the pin. Fun little up and down right there. Started just a little right of the flag and drawn back. But he didn't hit it great, but look at the bounce and it's on the green. Just kind of rolled off. Still a good shot. All right, Marco left his uh, below the pin probably about, you know, 18 yards. Doesn't have a lot of green to work with, so he's gonna have to lob this up in the air and hopefully have, have some spin on it. Oh, that landed hard, but it had some spin, so it's got about a 13, 14 footer coming down the hill. And I think that one is Spencer. He's got about a 25 footer down the hill. And my partner is right below the bunker over there. All right, coach is just a little left of the screen. Really good shot in here, actually. Uh, I just kind of rolled out. I kind of stubbed it. It's gonna have about a 10 footer there, maybe a little more. Hit it low, nice bounce. And, uh, as you guys can see, everything's breaking towards the front of the screen, so. guys dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, we're only down one. So I, we forgot to mention that it's going to be a uh, match play team uh, best ball. And right now those guys, the lefties, are one up right now on us. All right, we are on hole number three. It's a par five. It's 525 yards. It's a slight dog leg to the right. There is hazard all along the right-hand side where all those uh, palm trees are. And then up the left, it's out of bounds. Uh, this creek right in front of us doesn't really come into play. It's only about 150 out. Um, so anything up on that uh, hill, it will leak to the right. So we got 220. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go right through that little uh, gap right there. It's not very big. It's you know kind of a high risk, low reward shot. Um, I think I'm just gonna punch out and hit a little seven iron and get up and down. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not gonna even listen to that, guys. <laughs> Nip the branch. Which way did it kick? Middle of the fairway. Oh, perfect. <laughs> middle of the fairway, game. yeah. All right, Spencer hit one in the hazard. What do you got left here? That's a good drop, I got 230. I'm gonna just lay up with a four iron, leave myself a nice wedge in. Four iron, huh? Yep, it's low so I can get under that tree. Okay, I like it. All right, that was pretty good. He swooped it around. Should be uh, in good position right there. All right, my partner hit it in the hazard too, so he's taking a drop. What are you gonna hit? I'm gonna hit an eight iron over that tree right there, just giving myself a nice layup in. Okay. And he did it no problem. Good layup. All right, Marco's in the hazard too. <laughs> Swallowed everybody up, except for me. Going with five iron with a draw. Three different club selections here, guys. Let's see which one pays off. Mm. <laughs> I think that one hit the tree. It might have gotten through though. Kyle laid up over here to a perfect spot. What do you got left? 76 yards and I'm going to hit a sand wedge and try to put it close. It's going right at it. This looks really good. Nice shot. Alright, I got 59 yards. Uh, I'm just going to hit a little 60 degree wedge. Uh, hopefully close. Did it pretty good. A little left of the pin. Took a bounce to the right and it's kind of rolling out. I think it's going to be really close. 
All right, uh, laid up pretty, got a little lucky. I hit the tree with my last shot, but I uh, got about 55 yards. So I'm gonna go with lob wedge, just like coach and uh, see if I can get inside of him. <laughs> Pull it just a little bit, had some spin on it. It's probably got about 30 feet. All right, Spence, what do you got? Um, I don't do the yardages for any short chips. I just play it by feel, like coach taught me. And, uh, you know, coach teaches me everything, so. And I'm in uh, side of a divot, so I'm gonna just play it a little back in my stance, hit the ball first. Mmm, looks pretty good. Well done, sir. Chunky, thank you. Chunky good. All right, Spencer and Kyle are below the hole, probably about 15, 18 feet right there. Marco's a little bit past it, and uh, I stuck mine pretty close. I got about six, seven feet left. Oh, he did it. Oh, what a putt. Nice birdie. The old David Tom's trick worked. <laughs> All right guys, part three here, playing about 208 yards downhill with a little left to right wind. As you can see, there's a bunch of water you gotta carry. It's probably about 150 yards to get over that. And then the pin looks like it's in the back right, so pretty tough uh, pin location. You gotta really get on top of that ridge for a chance to have a birdie up there. Otherwise, uh, three putt is very possible from uh, down below. Started at left side of the green, and it's just kind of hanging there. Looks like you should find the left, yeah, left side of the green. He'll probably have himself about a 50, 60 foot putt at that ridge. Mm. Kyle nuked it, playing a draw, headed towards the left center of the green, below the ridge, and yeah, he's on, he's on the green, right next to Spencer. Started at the bunker, drawing, trying to draw a little bit, but it's kind of hanging there. And uh, he got it over the bunker. He should have a pretty straightforward chip shot from there. Mm. That started at the bunker with a draw, flew it. He's right next to me. A little up and down for a couple bucks maybe. All right, Marco ended up right here, just right of the green. I'm in this little bowl. We're gonna do a little closest to uh, right there. He doesn't have a lot of green to work with. He's got a flop one to, uh, you know, with some spin on it, and so do I. Uh, it's kind of a touchy little chip. Oh, it skipped a little bit. Yeah, he's not gonna be happy with that one. He's got about 20 feet left. Oh yeah, very nice shot. He's got a little two-footer, and uh, I just got my five bucks. Get up and down, man. All right, thanks. All right, guys, this is part four, 381 yards, playing, playing a, lot, a little bit left to right. Um, you're gonna see the bunker on the left and right-hand side. The one uh, on the right is definitely reachable, and then the one on the left is too. I uh, just wanna kind of favor right center of this fairway, and you'll have a pretty easy shot in. Nice ball, dude. Win it. All right, Marco put one in the bunker over here. Uh, he's got a pretty high lip, so he's probably gonna have to go with like a wedge or a nine iron, I'm guessing. What do you got? Yeah, I got 131. I'm gonna just go with a little choke down pitching wedge and uh, just try to find the screen and make a par for the first time today. <laughs> oh, he hit a great shot right here. It's going right at the flag, just left of it with some spin. He's on the green. I'm gonna say he's got about 12 feet. Shot of the day right there. Uh, I got 112 to the pin, front pin. Uh, I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. It's a little extra club, but there's a bank behind the pin, so if I get lucky, I'll spin back. Whose ball is that right there? 
That's my oh, coach. My <laughs> coach's ball. All right. Just started left of the pins, not not really drawn back right in front. So it's got you know a little easy chip up up and down. Great drive, dude. Thank you. Hit that one down the middle, a little off the heel, but it was straight and uh, kind of low, so it ran out for me. Uh, I've got 90 yards. I've got my 60 degree wedge. I'm just gonna try and get it close to where Marco put his. He's nice and tight, so uh, hopefully I can get right around there. Shorted it left of the pin. I think it's got to go a little bit. It seems a little short. Just, oh yeah, you got it on. Just bounce in front. I love about a 12 footer for bird. Good shot, man. Very nice touch. All right, I ended up right here. You got about a 10, 12 footer just up the hill. And coach was uh, just a little bit short. He's maybe got about a 14 footer. All right guys, this hole is uh, 385 yards, turning pretty well to the right. And uh, it's about 285 to the corner out there. You'll see a tree that's kind of overhanging. So if you're gonna go for it and uh, you wanna get over it, you gotta make sure that you kind of take it over to the left left center of the fairway here with, uh, with a draw or a cut, depending on if you're left to your righty. I'm gonna hit a hybrid myself and just kind of go for left center of this fairway and uh, just have probably a full wedge in or maybe a little more. I just kind of towed that hybrid, but middle of the fairway. I uh, got about 145 left. I'm gonna just go with a nice, easy nine iron and uh, go right up to 10. Coach and company are uh, one up now, so gotta make a little run. Started up the uh, left side with a nice little draw. Perfect, he's probably just on the back left fringe. Good shot. All right, Kyle, what do you got? I got 119 to the pin. I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. Looks like he caught it a bit heavy, but it might fly. Oh, caught the bunker. It's a little chippy nine iron draw around the tree. There you go, yeah, just visualize it. <laughs> All right guys, coach hit a great drive over here, left side, perfect position. He's got about 110 yards and what are you gonna go with? Yeah, I just uh, flighted that drive, teed it down a little bit lower and tried to just play a little baby draw and it worked out good. Uh, I got 110, just gonna hit a little approach wedge, choke down, control it, and uh, hopefully get, get it close. Started at the edge of the bunker with a nice draw, coming back. Ooh, this looks really good. Got a great hop and uh, well judged. Beautiful shot. Made good contact, just going a little bit left of the pin. And uh, yeah, nice shot. He's gonna have an uphill putt. Looks like Kyle's in the bunker. He's about to hit his bunker shot. It's not the easiest. It's got kind of a big lip right there and it runs away from him. It's got to have some spin on it. Mm. Oh yeah. Good par. Okay, we are in hole number seven. It's a par four, it's 451 yards. It's a hard dog leg to the left. Those bunkers aren't there uh, towards the center um, are about 250 to 290 out. You do have to carve it a little bit right to left to cut that corner. Um, so a good drive here is uh, definitely needed. Good ball. All right, coach uh, missed his drive over here in the bunker. He's got a great lie right in the center of it. And uh, what are you gonna go with here? Uh, I got 185, a little into the wind. I'm just gonna try and hit a hard six iron and leave it kind of in front of the pin and uh, try and get up and down. 
Get a pretty good shot out of there. It's drawing. It's going to probably miss the green over there to the left. Um, yeah, it's just in the left rough, so should have a pretty easy chip. <laughs> All right, Spencer's also in the bunker over here, just uh, behind Coach. What yeah, are you going I, with here? I got 200 yards about, and I'm going to choke down on five iron. Pure that out of there. Played a nice draw into this wind, and that is heading for the middle of the green. Just a little bit short. Kyle just missed his drive over here a little bit to the right. What do you got left? I got 193 to the green. I'm going to hit a punch five iron, try to get it to run up next to the flag. Pushed it a little bit to the right, headed for the trees on the right hand side. All right guys, I got 189 into the wind. I'm gonna go with the five iron and uh, just try to kind of lay one up there. Uh, missed the, the fairway just a little bit to the left, but uh, overall pretty good tee shot for me. Hit it just right of the pin, staying there. Should run up. All right guys, coach ended up over here. He's got a pretty straightforward chip shot, a lot of green to work with, and uh, he's probably gonna just Landed about one third of the way to the hole and let it roll out. Both of these guys were uh, a little bit short, and uh, Spencer's got a straightforward chip, and so does Kyle. I was pretty much pin high and just missed it over here under this tree, so uh, just kind of yanked it a little bit. I'll hit a good shot there. Oh, very nice shot. Spencer went for a little bump and run, and it didn't run. Guys, match is all square. Uh, this is a uh, number eight, par five, 503 yards, playing dead into the wind. As you can see, it also plays downhill. Big bunker on the left, definitely reachable. And then uh, position here is just kind of right down the middle, uh, holes straight ahead. And uh, if you had a good one here, you can uh, definitely reach into. Spencer and Marco ended up in the bunker. We've got kind of a high lip right here. Marco was talking about hitting a rescue out of there, which I think is a mistake, but he could prove me wrong. He's probably got about 235, 240. So hybrid's probably not the best play, but since uh, I'm feeling pretty good with this hybrid and I'm gonna just take this to the right side, even if I chunk it, it'll just be a good layup. Um, I'm gonna just make sure that I take a nice smooth backswing and make good contact. And uh, it's a little short, it's okay. Caught a little heavy, overcooked it to the right. I think it's okay over there though, right? All right, Spencer's got the same shot. He's hitting hybrid. Let's see what happens. He topped it and he's going bunker to bunker. <laughs> there it is. Oh, he, I think it just scooted just out. It's like I played it every time. <laughs> Hit it at the flag with the draw. It's headed towards the bunker on the left. I got 209. Uh, just gonna try and knock a smooth four iron kind of up the middle and hopefully it runs up uh, near the, the pin. Started at the flag and also turning over towards the left, kind of following where Kyle went. All right, folks, it's getting interesting right here. Marco's got this little chip, but he's got this tree that's right in front of him. He's gonna have to aim probably a little more to the right than he wants, but. I gotta go right, I, I can't mess with this tree, it's way too close, and uh, 50 yards, so kind of in between her. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a risk here, but first I'm gonna see how Spencer does, and if he gets it close, I'm gonna take a much riskier shot. So let's see what he, what he ends up doing. All right, pretty good. Oh, he flopped it good, but is it enough? Oh, oh, it landed right outside the bunker, but it was really close. That was pretty good. All right, so that's where Mike ended up. He's just a little bit short of uh, this bunker, and in the bunker over here, we got Kyle. 
I flopped it, but that's not getting there. So he hit it just a little bit long. I think he's gonna roll out. Mm. All right, it's not bad. He's got like 15-ish. Oh. Oh. All right, we're on hole number nine. It's a par four, it's 306 yards. There's hazard all along the right side, just uh, right of the cart path. And then um, there's out of bounds houses to the left. You really only need like a four iron, maybe five iron off the tee. Those bunkers on the left do come into play. Um, and then that water up by the green with the foreign doesn't uh, matter much, but it looks like the pin is in the middle of the green right here. Start up the middle with a draw. All right, Spencer with an iron down the middle, or actually towards the right side. All right, Kyle just ripped a five iron down the middle with a little draw. Coach went with an iron down the middle, but it's turning pretty hard to the left. Might stay short of the left bunker. All right, Kyle, good drive. What do we got? We got 113 in, so he's gonna hit a gap wedge close. It's, it's a little bit left side of the green, and looks like it's uh, it's on pin high. Good shot. All right, Coach is over here in the bunker. So I pulled that four iron a little bit in the bunker. I got 104, water's on the right, kind of front edge, so I'm just gonna miss a little bit long and left. Hit that really nice. I'm headed for the left side of the green. And uh, yeah, he's on the putting surface, probably about 25 feet. All right, Spencer pumped his uh, his iron down here. What do we got left? I got 90 yards. I'm gonna just hit a full sand wedge. Close, close down my stance a little so it goes about 195 yards. Should spin back and be pretty tight. Gotta win the match here. Hit that high with a little draw and then it faded back. Went long. I hit one in the hazard, I'm taking a drop, so uh, going for the make. Mm, started just left of the pin with a baby draw, staying there. All right guys, we got Kyle down there, front of the green. It's probably got about a 25, 30 footer coming up the hill. That's me right there, probably about a 10, 12 footer for par, and then Mike's uh, right behind me for birdie, and then Spencer just went a little bit long. Not bad. Mm. Good stuff, man. Pleasure. Good Thanks victory. For coming out and joining us with the boys. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Well, yeah. good to good, beat. Good effort. Good effort. Good job, winner. <laughs> good job, man. <laughs> All right, guys. These guys played pretty good, and uh, Spencer and I lost by one, and we uh, made some mistakes coming in there, and it's time to pay up. So. Yeah, nobody played great, but we kind of grinded out there. A few putts were made, a couple good shots, and uh, overall just a fun day, and uh, thankful for Marco coming out and joining us with the boys. And, uh, it was a fun time, and uh, now you can do those two minutes of plank. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> thanks for thanks for having me. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter, and uh, yeah, here comes the fun. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Nope. Oh, that took a lot of energy, but can I saw that. 